Adam, you've been listening to composers and music creators and asking them what they need to create new work. What have you found? Well, I think that there's basically very simple things, like you would imagine. Uh, for example, they need some money to they can actually work. A lot of the people I've spoken to um, are really not making a very large amount of money from composition. Uh, in fact, they're all doing other jobs, as it were. Um, another thing that really came across to me is the difficulties people have about finding publishers and agents that are actually able to uh, promote their work. And um, you hear a lot of people describing themselves as being self-publishers. Um, I, I tend to think that this idea of self-publishing is actually a bit of a myth, because I, I think people um, struggle, let's put it like that, to um, find the route uh, to get their music distributed and performed by ensembles. And so another very important um, problem or hurdle they face is that they, they need to have excellent networks with potential commissioners such as uh, ensembles, festivals or other music organisations uh, because a lot of them are so caught up in their daily lives, you know, they have families and so on, uh, the amount of time they can devote to composing and to developing their composition careers is, is very small indeed. And uh, so they tend to get stuck in networks which endure for long periods of time and in fact are probably also uh, relatively successful as, uh, as uh, networks for information and, and finance for the, for, the co for the composers. But the question is about always who's going to play it? Um, where are the performers? Where are the soloists? Uh, where are the ensembles? And how good are their relationships uh, with those, those people? My sense of the contemporary music uh, sector in the UK is it's actually quite foggy. It's not clear. Um, it's not as clear cut as it could be. I mean, if you compare it to something like the contemporary dance sector in the UK, uh, the, the contemporary music sector doesn't seem to have the same interconnectedness uh, and, uh, and the same shared uh, resources. That's something that, that I think could be addressed by, by funders and by uh, arts organisations around the country. I think it's something that in fact happened in the dance sector 20 years ago. It's something that maybe could be implemented now.